afternoon. I'm Lisa Tracy, and I'm one of the residents from uh, general surgery residents from Duke. And I'll be describing our research regarding the temporal trends in liver transplant center volume in the United States. Prior studies have showed a correlation between hospital procedure volume and postoperative patient outcomes in many complex surgical procedures, including Whipple procedures, cardiac procedures, congenital cardiac operations, lung resections, and many other procedures. In light of these findings, many healthcare policy initiatives designed to direct patient needing complex procedures to centers performing a large number of these procedures have developed. And initial studies of orthotopic liver transplantation suggest the existence of a volume outcomes relationship for this procedure as well. In fact, several initial studies showed a significant volume outcomes relationship for orthotopic liver transplant including study by Edwards using SRTR data from U.S. transplant centers from 1987 to 1994. Also, Adam using similar data from the European Liver Transplant Registry from 1988 to 1997 found such a significant relationship that he regarded low center volume as an independent risk factor for patient mortality. Subsequent studies have had more mixed results. Axelrod, in reviewing transplants done from 1996 to 2000, found only a modest but significant relationship. And more recent studies have failed to find a significant relationship between volume and outcomes of liver transplant at all. Northup, doing an analysis of, transplant, of transplants done after 2002, after the initiation of the MELD system, failed to find a significant relationship, as was the case in a study performed by our group um, and published in 2008 using information from the National Inpatient Survey database. It, of note, prior cross-sectional st or prior studies have been cross-sectional in nature. No recent analyses have actually looked across several time periods. Thus, our objectives were to assess the temporal trends in liver transplant center volume and to better characterize the relationship between center volume and patient outcomes over time. To do this, we use program-specific, publicly available data reports provided by the SRTR. These reports contained information on procedure volume, recipient donor characteristics, and graft and patient outcomes. Outcome measures we looked at included unadjusted survival and observed to expected patient death ratio, O to E ratios, which are based on the SRTR's risk-adjusted models that have been extensively validated. We collected data for three different time periods from 2000 to 2007. We then constructed volume categories based on absolute annual volume. Low volume centers were those centers which performed less than or 50 procedures per year. Medium volume centers performed 51 to 80 procedures per year. And high volume centers performed greater than or equal to 81 procedures a year. <coughs> These volume categories were constructed such that we would have an equal division of transplants in, in each volume category in period two, the middle period in our study. Our statistical analyses um, assessed temporal trends in volume by ordered logistic regression. We also assessed unadjusted survival rates by the ANOVA analysis and aggregate O to E <coughs> ratios within periods we compared by chi-square analysis. We found in our study of more than 34,000 liver transplant recipients at 104 transplant centers that the total number of procedures had increased 25% from period one to period three. That's an increase of more than 10,000 transplant procedures in period one to more than 12,000 in period three. The percentage of those transplants done at high volume centers increased significantly from 28.2% to 36.7% over that time while the percentage of those transplants done at low volume centers decreased from 40.7% to 29.9%. In fact, the odds ratio for an adult liver transplant being performed in a higher volume center in each consecutive time period was 1.24 with a 95% confidence interval between 1.2 and 1.4.